Hey, I'm John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of two new Gibson guitars. New for 2014, Gibson brought us the J29 and the J15. Both of these are roughly based on the much revered J45, which has been a workhorse standard of the industry forever. Let me describe some of the similarities between the J29 and the J15 and a few of the differences. Both guitars are handmade in Bozeman, Montana, and having a handmade guitar in this modern era is pretty wonderful because every guitar is unique. It's got that human element. If you pulled 20 guitars off the line in Bozeman, each one's going to sound a little bit different than the other, which is great. Um, both guitars have a nitro finish, which is something Gibson has always done. People make a big deal about nitro finishes because they really blossom with age. And that's definitely the case here. These guitars are right out of the box and they sound, they sound great, but they're gonna sound better as time goes on. The, uh, the J15 has a slightly different nitro finish. It's called a natural cure, which means that um, they've hand sprayed the, the nitrocellulose lacquer on the guitar and they allow it to cure naturally. So the finish is lightly textured. I'm not sure how that changes the sound, but it's a small difference between the two. Uh, both guitars have an LR Bags Element pickup, which we are running in conjunction with an uh, Royer R121 mic, which is going, both these signals are going into an Apache quartet, and that's being recorded in Pro Tools. And we'll kind of give you a, a comparison. You can hear the, the Royer alone, and then hear the Element alone. Both guitars have a uh, 12 radius necks, and it's a 24 and 3 quarters short scale, which is a very comfortable scale. Now the 12 is a little chunkier than some people like, but to me, some people complain like a, uh, a 12 radius is, is responsible for hand fatigue because it's a little bit bigger. But to me, it, it feels like a guitar, you know? You don't want it to feel too small. You want to feel like you have something in your hand. And I know that that beefier substance also contributes to the sound of the guitar. Also, like all Gibson acoustics, uh, the neck is connected to the body with a dovetail joint and then secured with a hide glue. And again, this old school way of, of, of building guitars is responsible for that classic Gibson sound. And it's something that is pretty rare this day, these days. Almost all Man, the majority of, of acoustic makers these days are using bolt-on necks, which is great, but it is a different tone, and there's something about that Gibson tone, and I don't know if it's the nitro, I don't know if it's the dovetail uh, joint, I don't know what it is, but there is a definite thing you get with that. The main difference between the J29 and the J15 is the bracing and the wood. The J29 that I have here, they both have, both guitars have a Sitka spruce top, but the J29 has this beautiful rosewood back and sides. And that makes for a very warm, responsive sound. Kind of that, again, I'm a big fan of rosewood. It's not only beautiful, but it, it really sounds great and is very responsive and very warm. <laughs> The J29 also has a rosewood fingerboard and a mahogany neck. Another, another difference 
is that the J29 has a 1930X uh, style bracing, which again is gonna sound a little bit different than the, than the J15. The J15 has a, the traditional J45 top bracing, uh, scalp bracing. Another big difference is the price point. The J15 is $1499 and the J29 is roughly $800 more. They're both great guitars, both have unique uh, tone qualities. Now, as I said, this guitar is right out of the box and it sounds great. And I'm sure because of this nitro finish and the way it's built, like all Gibsons, it's gonna sound even better with age. Uh, but it does everything really well. Like the bluegrassy thing. Just right on. Does like the finger picking thing well, you know, like. Uh... You know, it's great for like comp and chords, you know. You can even do like the devil music with it. So it's very cool all the way around. Now, just to show you the way the pickup sounds, let me just strum a couple chords and do, do an A-B box or A-B uh, test. So I think we've been running kind of a conjunction of, of the mic and the uh, pickup, but here's just the mic. Now here is just the LR bags alone. So there's our taste test. Now let's try the other guitar, the J15. So this is the J15, which has an American walnut back and sides. You can see there's also a stripe, walnut stripe down this maple neck and a walnut fingerboard. And again, a Sitka spruce top. Now the difference is walnut adds less color to the tone and it isn't quite as fast and reflective as rosewood. So whereas a rosewood guitar is gonna feel more responsive, the walnut guitar is gonna project more, uh, more the, the, the spruce top. So you hear more of, the, more of the spruce, less of the sides, if that makes sense. Um, the J15, I think feels a little, a little boxy right now, kind of more compact and controlled, uh, but it's gonna, that means it's gonna probably project better and make for a very controlled recording guitar. Let me just play some for you. So, I mean, it's a, it's a different tone. It's a great tone. They're both, they're both great tones. And that's the thing about guitar players. I don't know. I mean, there's some people that find the ideal sound and that becomes their sound. But there's a lot of us that kind of want to have every tone and find something kind of unique about each one. To me, this almost sounds kind of...
almost kind of like a cello kind of thing going on. Again, it's not as warm and lively and responsive as uh, the Rosewood, but nonetheless, an amazing tone. Great thing to have in your arsenal. Now let's see a little taste test so you can try them both, the bags and the microphone. This is just the mic. And here is the internal microphone, the LR bags. So last night when I was sitting around playing these two guitars, I gravitated towards the Rosewood at first more because, I don't know, I'm a traditionalist and it was so alive and, and responsive. But man, the more I play this one, I, it's got such a thing to it, you know? Just a great tone and similar but really different than the other one. So that's it. That is our compare and contrast review demo of Gibson's brand new J29 and J15. To read the full review, go to premierguitar.com. And while you're online, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our rig rundowns, all the other great stuff out there. We'll keep you apprised of all the great gear coming out. Thank mm -hmm. you.